thinking about quitting gig work and getting a quote unquote real job, here are the reasons why I can't do that and maybe you too. Let's jump in. Hi, I'm Tyler from The Rideshare Guy. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the reasons why someone may not want to quit the rideshare driving or gig work and get a full-time job. Uh, number one thing that we are always concerned about, no matter what we're doing, is how much money we're making and in turn, how much money we're gonna be able to save. So I can make as much money as I want, but if I spend too much, I'm not going to be able to live. So we have to make ways to save. One of the ways that I have found to save money, especially as a gig worker, is on gas through the Upside app. So if you check in the link below and the Get Upside app, you're able to save money. Every time you get gas, I have saved between my wife and I, several hundred dollars using this app. Definitely a great way as a gig worker to save a little bit of money. Now, when it comes to reasons that we are not going to want to give up the rideshare driving or gig work life, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is the schedule or really the lack of schedule. So if I had a regular nine to five job or even a night job or weekend job, I would have a set schedule that I have to be there and I have to be there from X hour to X hour. So if I have to be there from three o'clock until 11, I have no choice. I have to be there from three o'clock to 11. Now, those might be the best times for me to drive as well. So I'm going to create that schedule for myself. But if at three o'clock I start driving and things aren't looking good or I'm just not feeling it, I can turn off at any point. I don't have to try to get permission from a boss or anything like that. I just to finish whatever ride or request I'm on, uh, then I can immediately go home and relax and take the rest of the night off. I'm not going to make money, but if I wasn't going to work, I wouldn't make money either. Maybe I made a great fare and I've made enough. I can go home early because I've already made enough money for the day. But at a regular job, you don't have that option. Even if you have made enough for the day, you still have to work the rest of your shift. Another thing when it comes to the schedule is that you can take as much time off as you want as a gig worker. I have in the past taken almost entire years off from rideshare driving, delivery driving, all of it, because I had other things that was going on. I had regular jobs. I didn't need the extra money. So I was able to take literal years off and then get right back into it when I wanted to make that extra money or leave that regular job to do this full time. So I was able to actually do that because it's a gig. It's not something that I have to clock in and out of. Now I would regularly get messages trying to get me back. But imagine a job where you can take a year or more off and then come right back and be able to start making money. It's unheard of, but with gig work, you can absolutely do that. Another reason that I love gig work and can't give it up for a regular job is uh, I call it just audible or podcasts or if you just like music. So for me, getting out there and doing deliveries is the best time for me to listen to my books. I have an awesome book series that I love and whenever a new book comes out, I drive a lot more. Now that is a twofold thing. Number one, I'm able to listen to my book or a podcast that I absolutely love. I'm able to get entertainment or sometimes I learn from these things, but at the same time, I'm encouraged to go out there and drive even more. So I actually am making more money than the cost of the, of the book. So it actually is a great incentive for me and something I wouldn't be able to do at a regular nine to five job. I wouldn't be able to listen to a book because I'd have to focus on whatever it is that I'm doing, whether that's serving at a restaurant or back in the farm like I was for many years, I would have to do that instead. So this is a great opportunity, something you can't do with a, a regular job. The third reason that I could never go back to a regular job versus the gig work is that a regular job limits how much time and how much money you can make. Now, you can always get raises, you can work more if you're a server and you're working for tips, you can work more hours and make more money that way, you can get better and get more tips. But there comes a point where your boss will tell you to get off the clock. I know because I've worked as a server, my wife is a server, and 
they don't want you to work a certain amount of hours because if you go over that amount of hours, then you go into full-time status and then they have to start paying full-time benefits and health insurance and all of that. So before you hit there and long before you hit there, they're going to tell you that you're not allowed to work anymore. And even if you want to pick up shifts, even if shifts are available, you can't do it because you're at a certain amount of hours. With rideshare driving or gig work, no one is telling you you can't. Now, these apps do have a limit to how much you can drive and it's going to be different in each state, but it's up to 12 hours. With me multi-apping, there is zero chance I'm going to get to that allotment for the day ever. Even if I did drive for 12 hours in a day, which I have done, I'm not going to drive for 12 hours on one single app. It's going to be spread out over all the different apps that I drive for, and so I'm not going to get there. So I could, in theory, drive for 24 hours. I would never do that because that sounds insane. But if I had to, I could. And I'm not limited to how many hours in a day or how many hours in a week. So if I need to make more money, I can just drive more hours to make that extra money. Now, it's true you might make less depending on how much the requests come in, but you also have that potential to make so much more. And then finally, the reason that I couldn't go back to a regular job and I have to stick with gig work is the fact that I need money now or when I need money now, driving for these apps allows me to have money by the same day. So uh, if you have the Uber or DoorDash card, you'll actually get that money deposited at no charge after every single dash or order. Uh, Uber actually, theirs is every single order and every tip. So every time you get a tip or any type of income at updates in the app, it immediately deposits into the account. So throughout the shift, you're going to be getting that money regularly. With DoorDash, it's going to just pay out at the end of the dash. So if you have a four hour or six hour dash, at the end of that, anything you've made during that time is going to automatically go onto that card. Now, if you don't use those, you can still, for a fee of 50 cents or a dollar, get that money deposited into your account right away. So it's definitely something that even if you don't want to use one of those bank accounts or cards that the app itself offers, you do have the ability to get that money right away. Whereas with a regular job, typically you're going to get paid at most every single week. You typically don't get paid out every single day. Again, unless you're doing something like a server or something like that. And even then, you're going to get your tips at the end of the day. Sometimes your credit card tips, though, they're actually paying on a biweekly basis as well. So even with that, now you're not always getting that money every single day. So those are the four reasons that I could never go back to a regular job and gig work is what I'm going to stick with for the time being. Maybe those reasons don't apply to you. Maybe you don't think they're great. Let us know. Maybe you have other reasons why you do this. Please let us know in the comments below. We read every single one of them. Don't forget to check out Upside. Save yourself some money on gas and allow yourself to take more of that money that you're working so hard to get and keep it in your pocket. And please, if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Subscribe to the channel because there are new episodes that come out every single week that help you make as much money as possible in as little time as possible. And until next time, stay safe out there, everyone.